All right, everybody. So welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. As you guys can see, the Gigas are fucking giant now. Now, mind you, I recorded those last episodes on Saturday. It's now Monday night, and I'm just getting back from work and throwing these bad boys back out. I didn't get a chance yesterday to show you guys the update or progress, but as you can see, it's like 50% done growing already on Monday. Uh, they would be probably more like 70%, but I didn't want to take the risk of me being at work and not knowing when I was going to get back um, with food in their inventory. So I just kind of picked them up real quick just because it's way too much time and energy to try to do this and then, you know, have them die while I'm at work. And if you run over here, you might have saw that wants to be hand-fed comfort food and then it's prime meat. That is unhighlighted because you don't need to do it anymore because if we run over here, imprinting 100%. And you can see their health now is at 33,000. And for these ones, at least, the melee is at 1,300. And the big boy over here, imprinting, health still the same as 33, but the melee damage is almost 16k or 1600 which is fucking insane i mean he's a tank I, he's probably gonna one bite everything um in this area i haven't seen any um i don't even know how to say it but if well when we go on to extinction there's dinosaurs called corrupted dinos and they get up to like three level 300 and you know they're they're a little more difficult and that's when these guys would have started having a problem. But this dude, man, 1,500. If you get a Giga with like 66,000 health and 1,500 damage, that would be fucking wild. I think the last time I did this, uh, my Giga, I think, had 800 melee damage. It was like 850. And 33,000 health. So 33,000 kind of seems to be like the the health limiter that they're set at. I'm not sure if it's true or not because obviously I don't have access to any of the old clans or anything. Or at least most of them are like disbanded or only a few people play from the tribe. So I don't know how much of all that stuff got like held over. <clears throat> but... Um, one sec. But anyway, uh, we'll be trying it out because obviously male, two females, so we'll be able to see ourselves. I also went and bred these guys last night and these two are actually ready to mate, so I'll just enable mating. While we're on here, I have no clue what I'm going to do for this episode, but, you know, I'm just kind of like getting on here and, you know, going crazy, uh, mainly to show you guys the update and then, oh yeah, the Yankees did finish. They're done. So we have a colors male and then a male that has uh, better melee or potentially has better melee than our current one. Which is that this one, right? No, it's definitely this one, right? No. Which which fucking? See now I'm confused. I think it's this one. No, it's not. Who have we been carting around? I want to say it's this one. But the melee damage don't support what I'm saying. No, because that, that was the male we just got. And then it was those two females. Was it you? Oh, no, it's Spike over here. He's sitting over here. I'm sorry. I'm like, I just completely, like, had a brain fart. Yeah, Spike is 414, 
And for instance, if we run over here to that male, that is, I'll just name him real quick, because he's what, 369 is his, uh, whenever we stop lagging. <clears throat> Okay, so if we run over here to this guy, obviously they're mating, so maybe I just want to hold on real quick while they're done, or when, once they're done, which is now. And run over this one. Oops. Fuck. There it is. Okay. So if we look at these ones, you see how they have 35 levels already, and we haven't even used them? I'd say the first 40 levels on any dino that you tame is probably going to be like the average amount of levels the dino is going to get before it no longer will gain them quickly, and you might get like one every now and again. But, um... We did get three Ankies last night. One was a female that is actually worth it. And then the other two are kind of just color males. There's really no reason for me to keep them in any other way, shape, or form. Actually, it tells you um, all the stuff that they actually got. You can see where they got what from um but yeah so the female did get obviously the uh strength from the dad and then she got all of the um females everything else so uh you know it, it's it's a really a roll of the dice and it might have even changed because that's new to the uh distribution of everything but i got two other males that are really just for colors so they probably won't even come out anytime soon I might do the female when those come up, but I'll probably just, like, stockpile on some females, and then tomorrow starts my layoff. Uh, I'll be done work really early, so I'll be getting back here, and I'll probably be editing a lot of stuff, because I have a lot of footage that's, like, waiting to be edited. I've just been doing a lot of shit, and have a lot of backlog. But anyway, and as you guys can tell, too, the base is done fully uh, covered in so really the only thing we're doing for the next few days is going to be trying to wrap some of this stuff up and cover it all with metal I mean you're talking one more metal run which I honestly think we have the metal oh no we don't we do not have the metal I was wrong when I said that oops yeah we don't have the metal at all we don't even have the cementing paste I don't think no Okay, so I need to go on a cementing paste run and one metal run, and this base will be metal fully. So, maybe two metal runs and two cementing paste. Because there's some stuff I want to do and putz around with, so I might as well do that while I'm already in the middle of doing everything. So, real quick, I'm going to go on a, a meat run and just kind of use the meat run too as a little bit of a gather oil run because I... On this map, at least, I do not have the ability to harvest oil yet. I do know how on this map, and I'll be showing you guys at some point in time in the near future. But uh, as far as where we're at in the game, we do not have the ability to do that. So, I just kind of have to... Oh, that sucks. I should have checked that. But it is what it is. I also don't plan on playing that much tonight. It's kind of just letting everybody sit out. That really sucks. There's like... I always hate <coughs> killing Ankies just because I'm currently trying to breed them. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, I think like the highest wild uh, 
damage count you're really gonna get on an Anki is probably like 400, and that's a 150, and a really lucky roll. So. And if we go inventory, and just stash this down here. I mean, we just kind of killed the Ankies in the area, so it's kind of like one thing that you really should be checking before you just go kill certain dinosaurs that you're actually trying to, you know, make bloodlines of, is what level the ones you're getting ready to kill are. That way you're not just killing off the ones that potentially could help your bloodline. But, you know, hey. And I'm saying that also because I had a really good friend named um, Rhett. No, Shanky. It, this one was Shanky, I thought, I'm pretty sure. That was breeding Rexes. And he actually told me one of the nights we were just talking bullshitting because I had bought a Rex off him that he actually got a good bit of his uh, Rex DNA from one from 150s, just level 150 Rexes that he found in the wild that he tamed, and it gave him better mutations than the Rex that he uh, the Rexes that he was currently doing. And what I mean by that is is I mean every dinosaur that you tame has a chance to have a mutation. And obviously the mutations are better at a higher level. So any 150, you have a chance of getting any kind of mutation. It's great. But sometimes the mutation cycles that you get on from breeding dinosaurs actually gets like nullified by just taming one wild level 150. And what I'm saying by that is, is the same guy I'm talking about, when we were talking about the uh, Rexes he was taming, he was getting the health up pr pretty good on the Rexes to the point where he was having, he had like 23k Rexes. And everybody else that was selling Rexes back then, it was like 21k was the, uh, you know, the, the starting point of the health. And... Shanky was selling them, and he had Rexes that were 23k, which obviously it's another thousand health. You're talking about a pretty decent chunk of percentage when it comes to um, health in the game, because that directly affects the amount of health per level that they'll get, and um, and the amount they'll get per imprint. Um, and we were talking, and I know I'm long-winded. I'm sorry, but. Anyway, he, he got the health up that high, but the melee damage was really low, and he couldn't really figure out uh, what was going on, and obviously, you know, it, it's really just, like I said, it's luck of the draw. Whatever you end up drawing as, you know, your next roll of the dice when breeding is what you get. And I think he had Rexes that were like, I'm going to say a random number because I don't remember. It's been like three years and actually, it's probably more like four years from what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, he found a wild 150 one night when we were playing, and he tamed it, and it had like, I, I, I want to say 600 melee damage. I can't really remember, but I'm going to say 600 because I'm going off the list giga where it has 450 and it's a 150, two, and this is, you know, it was wild tame. Um, actually, it was raised by somebody. Okay, that's weird. But anyway, um, you know, that, that's like a, a reasonable wild tame. I would say, Giga, you're probably max wild tame melee damage. You're probably looking at like five, six hundred. Uh, Rex, you're probably looking at seven hundred, maybe six. Um, again, those are like numbers I'm making up in my head because I don't remember what the numbers were when he was talking to me. 
But anyway, he said that, you know, he had that bump in his breeding from finding just one wild Rex one night. One random level 150 that he wasn't even going to tame. That just randomly, he said, fuck it, I'm going to tame it because I'm already here. It's a 150, you know, that roll the dice effect. And, you know, <clears throat> to his disbelief, he actually got one that helped his lineage. And, you know, that's kind of what I'm talking about with all this kind of shit is, um, you know, you might get a bunch of dinos that, you know, you think you have a good lineage going on, and you're really early on in the lineage, but then all of a sudden you find another 150, and then he kind of, like, fucks over your whole lineage. And, you know, that's just what happens. Now, where I can come in with that is, is we were doing Manic Armors, which are another dinosaur in the game. Looks like a little, uh, almost looked like the the dragon off of um, the never-ending story. And, um, we were breeding them, and a girl named Southie was. And Southie had these manas with some pretty wild health. She found some 150s with some pretty wild health and made some babies. And I want to say the health was like 7k. And we were taming level 150s and level 145s and 40s. And I mean, honestly, anything to level 30s is worth taming if you're looking for mutations. Um, and we had Stam. Our stamina was like 1500 for a baby which was pretty wild. And I think we ended up getting up to like 1700 before I stopped playing on a regular basis. And, you know, we combined the two and then we ended up having like, we had ended up having uh, Manic Armors between the, the two groups, uh, Southie and then our tribe. Um, we had Manic Armors that were 8,000 health, I think, and 1800 Stam way back when um and and those are just like my uh points on where i can come in with the breeding thing because they were on <clears throat> extinction and extinction obviously was the newest map at that time that we were playing on and you know they were just a new dinosaur so not many people have been breeding them and I, I, obviously Rexes have been being bred since, you know, the island in 2015, 14, whenever the game originally came out. So, you know, everybody has strains of Rexes, but, you know, it's always that next dinosaur that people don't have. And, you know, depending upon what kind of dinosaur it is, then, you know, it's that fight to get it to be awesome. So... And it's, but it's just like this guy, man. I mean, he's got 31k health. Actually, I haven't even checked to see if it's imprinted. Hell, oh, he is imprinted. Okay, so, I mean, you know, his max health would, would have probably been like 23,000, 24,000. Maybe. No, maybe like 17. Because the imprints on Gigas are pretty astonishing. Oh, there's a metal dino right there. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's just kind of the whole the whole thing with it. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you draw those dice. Or when you roll the dice with the dinosaurs and you're doing breeding programs. It's always a uh, toss-up in the air. And the even better part, too, is just like that thing that I was talking about with the girl Southie who I don't even know where she came up with this time to play the with to play Ark cuz Ark does take a long time to play and takes a lot of <clears throat> effort on anybody's part who's playing the game to actually keep up with everything you're doing and if you haven't played Ark then you just don't understand you just you know have an experienced playing the game for 
hundreds of hours to, you know, get one mutation or playing the game for days on end building another section onto a base to continue the breeding operation and then you have like I don't even know I want to say like 30 dinosaurs but I feel like sometimes it's more than that you have like 30 babies down and then you know you have to go get food for all 30 of these babies and babies eat food at a ridiculously quicker rate than a full-grown dinosaur does I mean we're talking about you know 50 times the average um, consumption rate and you know it's just things you don't think about and you know then you got 30 babies and you have I don't know how many chests we have or we had I'd like to say I took footage of this way back when but I know I tried to record it one time when I found out I could record using the uh, Google play thing and it was so laggy and choppy I'm pretty sure I just deleted it but there's somebody else is out here with the Giga 2 running around but anyway you know I mean that's just the things you don't think about oh yeah you got a whole whole tribe here or is it a is it a tribe? Or are they just roaming? Oh, they're just roaming. That's interesting. You don't see that too often. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, sometimes using people on the server that have good dinos, you know, help your lineage is pretty much where I'm the where I'm getting at with that whole conversation, discussion. So, and, you know, it would be cool, too, once I get onto that new map. I think it's Lost Ark. And just see what the new dinosaurs are because that is a, a plan that I have for this layoff is I will be getting on to the new map and trying to find the new dinosaurs mainly just to see what the fuck they do I mean there's multiple dinosaurs in the game that all do the same shit and there's dinosaurs that there's no reason to even tame because they do absolutely nothing for anybody or they do something that another dinosaur does better. But, you know, it really all comes down to personal um, perspective and what you ultimately like. So. But at the same time, too, I've never met anybody that would prefer having a uh, Rex over a Giga. At least that I've ever met. But. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I wasn't even trying to pick that up, but whatever. I'm just really trying to find oil. It's honestly the reason I left the fucking house. And I did end up getting a chainsaw too that's actually really good I'm pretty sure we just got an ascended chainsaw um, that I just kind of like grabbed and ran away <coughs> the, and, and for anybody who doesn't know what that means um, in the game there are different levels of all the equipment that you can make and um, for each level of the equipment you get it like gives you more items per smack I'll say it like that like a, a bite for the dinosaurs the more melee damage they have the more each bite or each swing will give you like for a giga the more melee damage the more meat and prime meat you get off of one bite or one kill for an Anki the more melee damage they have the more uh, 
<clears throat> um, metal they gather when they smack the metal nodes. And you'll, I mean, and, and I'm not talking about like an insignificant amount. You're talking about a pretty significant amount there. When you look at it, you'll, if you go from like a 300 <clears throat> melee damage Anki to a 400, you'll notice the difference in metal gathering. It'll be very blatantly obvious. But yeah, we just got an ascended chainsaw. So the fastest way to cut trees, also the quickest way to get prime, and you get the most mutton from sheep which you guys will see me get into at some point i really don't need to because i could just get somebody else's rgs and make you know my own lineage from their rgs but uh you know it kind of takes the fun out of breeding and i'll probably just do rgs by myself because i already got like a giant one up with gigas so you know that'll just be something that i do on my own time. Alright guys. Well I'm not really sure. Really what else the fuck to do. Because this was really. Just an update video. So I'm probably going to leave it here. And when we come back. Uh, hmm, I'll probably have gone. On the metal runs. And 9 times out of 10. Did. These upgrades. That's what it is. That's what I'm going to do. The next time we come back, we'll go to that snow owl area over that way. And we'll get some snow owls. So, alright guys, I will catch you all then. And then I'll obviously update some the Giga when we first come into the game for those episodes. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all liked and enjoyed a little update. And I will catch you all next time. Bye for now, guys.